Hi, I'm Teresa Ford, and I'm talking about how to create a comic page in Adobe Photoshop. This video, we're going to cover panel effects. We created these lovely panels over here in the last video, and this time, let me turn these off for a second, we're going to talk about how to add some effects to these panels, such as some, a darker line and some shadows. And the way we would do that, we have, let's see, there's our lines. That one's a blank layer. So these two layers here, notice I didn't name my layers correctly, so it's hard to follow. I'm going to copy those two layers via Command J. And then I'm just going to merge them. Control E, bloop. Then I am going to select my white, actually select color range of white, bloop. And then I'm going to hit the delete key to delete it so it's clear. And what that's given us, if we look, is those panels onto their own layer, which we can see easily if we put some obnoxious color behind it. You can see that the only thing on this layer are, are our panels. We're going to go ahead and add some effects to those. Let's go ahead and add a stroke. And I think I'll make it black. Bloop. And I'm going to put it on the inside because we're talking about our panels here. Go ahead and make it a little bit bigger so it's easy to see. And then we could add a drop shadow. Boop. And nope, let's put an inner shadow instead so that it's on the inside of our panel, which we can see this is where it's putting it. So let's go ahead and add just a little bit of that. Actually, wait, that's our stroke. I've found that a couple times lately. All right, over here, we can look at it. You can kind of see where it's, where it's going if you're looking over on the left a little bit. Just a, just a hint of a shadow. Make it darker. There we go. Hint of a shadow on our panel, hit OK. We really don't need that obnoxious red there. And we obviously would not want that teal color on all of our pieces, so we're just going to drop the fill to zero. And when we drop the fill to zero, it leaves the effects and keeps the panels. So now we can put that above all of our panels. And if we turn our panels back on, do, 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 you can see that the effect is there, but, they, but that teal color goes away. Now this one, because it's not on our regular panels, we would put that above that effect, like so, and give it its own effect, which we can give it either on this layer or we can give it to it on its own layer. And I think we would want to put it on its own layer so we can see it better, which would be a duplicate, Command J, up here. And let's go ahead and add the effect again. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and make that one a little bit thicker, just because variety. We like variety. Drop our fill down to zero, and we have an instant border. And that's how you would add effects to your panels to make them look snazzy.